put in some more resin. Trying to avoid too many air bubbles in my uh, tank here. And I'm going to put this into my light again. This next layer I'm going to put in one of my goldfish. So I'm just putting in some of the resin. And I got a big air bubble down there. I did try to avoid that, but I have it. Hmm. Annoying. So I'm going to plop one of my fish in there and soak it into the resin really, really good. Put it like I want it. And now I'm going to put it into the lamp. I filled up the aquarium and this is all loose. I in in both sides is coming off just like that. So I am really going to to take this plastic off and I'm trying not to scratch my creation in there and this is quite hard to get off so watch your hands and fingers and whatever potty, body part you like get your dad to help you I um I have it out of the tic tac box now and the back side is not all that pretty but it's not that bad. This is the front and this is the back back side. So I'm going to take some clay. I wrote that out on a size uh, on a setting three and I'm going to place my fish tank on top of this clay and cut out I believe if you don't put the backdrop in to start with like I did you won't have the problem so I have the backdrop here that I like sky blue um, and it fits my fish tank I baked the plate and I glued it on with some E6000 and that already look a bit prettier but I like a bad at bottom here so I am going to place it on some black clay and cut that out like that, removing this one and I'm just softening off the corners and then just bake this piece and glue that on the bottom of your uh, aquarium and it should look something like this. This one have a darker blue um, but it have the bottom piece. So that's how the aquarium will look when you're done. So all that's left to say is happy crafting! Mm -hmm.